Chris Abraham from GoMath. This is uh, we're going to do another problem as part of the Harvard Square MTEL Math Workshop series. Today we're going to do number 19. This is on the general curriculum math subtest, and uh, I haven't done this problem in a long time. I really like it, so I'm glad that we're able to do it today, and I hope you found it helpful. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I've I've been doing this a lot with the first uh, 20 problems on this test. But I want you to, when you look at the problem, take a quick glance. What do you see? I'm hoping right off the bat you see these inequalities. This is a very much an inequality problem. Inequality is even in the, in the question itself. So let's take a moment and let's be clear on what an inequality is. If I have a value, let's say uh, x is, uh, and I have the x is, let's say, uh, greater than 4. This sign here opens up to the x. Well, one way to think about it is the Pac-Man is going to face a larger number. So I would read this as, I could read it as x is large greater than 4, or 4 is less than x. Now what if it has an equal sign? What does that mean? That means that x is greater than 4 or equal to 4. Now let's say I wanted to, to draw this on a number line. Here's my number line here. Uh, here are my values like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. I would be circling 4 and filling it in because it includes 4. And 6x is greater than 4, it means all the values, this black line here represents all the values of x equal to or greater than 4. Now if it was a question where there was no line there, it was just x is uh, greater than 4, then it would be an open dot like that. It would include the 4, but it would be all the values greater. Okay, let's get into the problem. Now we can get into uh, actually uh, uh, looking at reading over the problem. 3 divided by x is greater than 4 divided by x. Which of the following inequalities describes all the possible values of x? And then it has all these inequalities. First, let's break down this, uh, what this is saying here. This is saying 3 divided by some value is going to be greater than 4 divided by some value. And I've got to determine what values of x are going to make this inequality make sense. And I have these A, B, C, and D, these, all these inequalities. Let's start. Let's start by getting organized. Let's draw three number lines like this. And I'm going to place zero right in the middle. There's going to be my negatives. There's going to be my positives. So what am I doing here? I'm getting my, I'm helping make sense of the problem by, you know, I'm going to test out, I'm going to write the number lines for each one of these, just to see what happens. Uh, that's a positive one, sorry. So let's see, x is greater than negative 1. Oh, I'm sorry, x is, the, the Pac-Man is facing away from the x, so x is less than negative 1. So this means... It's all the values that are less than negative 1 here. That's this number line. Okay? What about this one right here? X is less than 0. Well, here's my 0. I don't include it. That's why it's the open circle. It's all the values like this. All right? X is greater than negative 1, so that means it's larger than this, but it's less than 0. So it's all these values here in between the negative 1 and the 0. And then finally, uh, we have uh, this one right here. x is less than 0, but it is uh, less than negative 1. So it's all these values here. So you're like, Chris, uh, I'm a little confused. Well, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to test this out by testing out values. And if it works, for example, let's just, let's just test out negative 1. That seems to be a really good one because it's, it's in a bunch of these. So I'm going to just take my chances. 
See what happens if I put a negative 1. What? Negative 1, negative 1. That would turn this into a negative 3, and this would be a negative 4. Now, is negative 3 greater than negative 4? Remember, a negative number, the smaller the negative number, the larger it is, because you don't want to be in the negative. Negative 3 is greater than negative 4. So guess what? Negative 1 is going to be on my number line. Well, which one of these has negative 1? A does not have negative 1. C does not have negative 1. And guess what? D, it doesn't even come close to having negative 1. So guess what? I, I, I got lucky, real lucky, and I got to the answer. Let's test this out again, though. Let's come up with a way where we, if we weren't so lucky to get to B as the answer, um, or actually, that's uh, if we weren't so lucky, uh, what could we have uh, tested? Well, let's say we tried. Um, let's say we we were curious and we wanted to see if it's something like. I don't know. Um, let's say we, we tested out uh, negative one half. Okay? Because that's on B and it's on C, but it's not on A and D. If I did negative one half, three divided by negative one half would actually get me negative six. Is that greater than a negative eight? And guess what? It is. That tells me that negative a half is also on our line, which would exclude again A, and it would exclude again D. So then you would have to ch choose between B and C and find a value that's not on C, that's on B. And you know, we tested one and it worked. You could have tested negative two. It would have worked, which would have excluded C. And this is, this is one way, get rid of that. This is one way of doing this. Um, try it. Try writing out the uh, inequalities. Try this sort of plug and chug way. See if it helps. Um, again, this is you know, going to help really help the visual learner walk through this problem. I think it's a good way to approach this problem. It takes a little time, but you know, sometimes we need the practice. So try it on number 19. It's kind of fun to do. You get practice writing out the inequalities. You get practice working on this, uh, practicing, uh, you know, um, doing these type of calculations with uh, a fraction in the denominator. It's a good practice problem. It helps make sense of uh, the math, so I suggest you try it. Um, check out other videos if you found this one helpful. Um, check out one of the uh, MTEL math workshops in Harvard Square. Uh, and uh, keep on sending your questions to me. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Have a great day. Thank you. Goodbye.